All right, Pisces, welcome in. I hope you're doing great today. Let's talk about Pisces for October. This is going to be a big month. Um, you guys, Pisces, uh, are going to be the recipient of the nodes of the moon starting in January and the north node of the moon moving into Pisces. That is all about the um, the spiritual direction of things. So going into Pisces, that's spiritual direction. That's creative aha moments. That's all kinds of um, things that happen that are outside of your awareness, but they are like sort of aligning you with God. Okay. So let's see what's going on for Pisces for October. This, this eclipse that we're having in Libra is the final eclipse of 2024. And we are moving now, the nodes of the moon are moving out of Libra and Aries. North node and Aries is going to move back into Pisces. South node is going to move back into Virgo. They always move in retrograde. So you, my friend, are on deck and you are the spiritual direction. You. All right. <clears throat> but personally, what is your spiritual direction? So the thinker card is coming up. Chaos and conflict. We've had this today already. Ace of cups. It's like, oh man, and flexible. So I like this a lot. Anything that is inflexible right now is going to work its way out, but there's going to be, there's going to be a little bit of rumble in the jungle until we can get this sorted. And I love the ace of cups and I love the flexibility. Some of you, this is showing up on kind of a micro level where you might have some kind of conflict between you and another person. Um, so right now we have the North Node in Aries and that can be a little bit of headbutting if something hasn't been worked out over the past year and a half, there's likely gonna be some difficulty. If things have been thought through with that thinker card, then it's gonna be easier. But either way, things have to change flexible. Okay. So everybody's going to have to give and take. Everybody's going to have to think about what they want versus, you know, what, um, is going to <clears throat> block them from what they want. Even you might have to think about that. Queen of wands, Q queen of wands, three of wands, the king of cups, the lover's card and the four of wands. Wow. 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 King of Pentacles. So mm, there's definitely some drama here, Pisces. <clears throat> I almost feel like you're choosing between something that is creative expression and something that's rather stayed, meaning stable. Choosing between something exciting and something reliable. And I feel like that's how you're looking at it too. It's very black and white. Is there a possibility that things can be both and? That it could be an exciting opportunity and still have some stability to it. Is that possible? It may not be totally as stable as this King of Pentacles, but it also may not be as totally wild as this Queen of Wands. So I feel like what's happening here, this can be about a living situation that you're having, a desire to, do I travel or do I get more animals in my house and build a vegetable garden? Or do I just pack up my stuff, sell the house and like, you know, go traveling all over the world? Like, what am I, what is the next chapter? <clears throat> now, with North Node moving into your sign of Pisces, this says to me that this is whatever's going to be new is really going to be new. This is not going to be something that um, you've already lived through. Not recently. So take a look, you know, the nodes, the last time the North Node was in Pisces. Around about 20 years ago. So that we're at 2024, 20, so this is 04, okay? Uh, I'm being general on that because I didn't look at the dates, but like um, 04, 05, somewhere in there. And 
you could have been, you could have been in a situation that was a little bit challenging and then it smoothed out because I feel like that's what's going on here. Something is rocky and may have already been rocky for you. And now it's working itself out. Look back to 0405 and what was going on. Was something too stable, not growing enough? Was something too rocky? I've already seen that in another reading. But there's some kind of both and. There needs to be growth and excitement and some stability in order for this to grow. Now, I feel like you might be literally choosing between two people. But others of you are choosing between two ways of living. Do I, like I said, do I want to, <clears throat> excuse me, do I want to um, travel the world or do I want to be a homebody? Like those two things can't really happen together at the same time. However, you could get your home together and then you could use it as a base of operation, right? There's a, there's a little bit of both and here. So let's see what's happening in the reading. Oh, I love this. The Sun card, Knight of Cups, Three of Cups, okay, the Justice card, the Strength card, wow, lots of Leo here, and the Ace of Cups again. Pisces, this is brand new. Look at that. Tower, Seven of Pentacles, okay. And the hermit. So some of you have had this happen in your life that you met somebody and, and that was it, right? Like met somebody, started dating, got married, right? And that was it. And as it turns out, it became too stable and stuck for you. And so I really want to change this up. And I almost feel like some of you went right to divorce and didn't really work through what it meant to change the relationship. Now, that could have happened a long time ago, right? Like when you were very young and it was just like, oh, well, you know, we're not happy and this just means we just need to get divorced. I feel like some of you um, may regret that now or look back on that, especially if you're in another situation that it has gotten stale, has gotten too stable, and you're like, uh, there may be uh, emotional affairs or third parties to make it exciting again. There might be some kind of leaning into that direction to make it exciting again. Now, that is a pattern that has happened before in your life and has the potential to do it again. However, I almost feel like you've gotten a lot smarter, a lot wiser over the past number of years, seven, eight years. and you've been able to understand um, maybe even what you want. Okay. More than you did a long time ago. So this could be, this could be like leading up to a second marriage or a second kind of commitment in your life. The new beginning is happening and you're like, okay, I don't want to bring all that baggage with me in terms of, I don't want to do that again. Or I don't want to have that happen again. So it might not have been you. It might have been the other person. I don't want to have that happen again where we're happy and then bam. And then that's it. Right. Like it just happened too fast. Like there was no there was no like discussion about it. It just went zero to 60. The tower here looks like it's in the past. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, the world and the wheel of fortune. So a lot of, um, a lot of past past life karma showing up right now, very, very common in Piscean energy. You know, Pisces original ruler is Jupiter. Pisces rules the 12th house. This is about karma, the house of karma. And when we have that North node going into Pisces, into that North node of karma, a lot of patterns can be repeating themselves. And you might see that very clearly with your own situation. Um, you could have, um, I don't, I mean, maybe for a small number of you, this is someone coming back from the past that you could have had a better situation with and it didn't work out. And maybe we get a second chance at love. That could be possible. I feel like some of you are like, pull back from this. Look at this from the big picture perspective that, you know, I 
I am somebody who I really want to create a situation where I can work within the confines of it, which is very Virgo, not Pisces, work within the confines of it to, you know, develop it, to make it healthier, to make it good. The thing is that I feel like might have been missed before is that you cannot make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. You cannot make something based on something that wasn't it. Okay, so you cannot plant an avocado pit and expect to get a lemon tree. You got me? So you've got to give it the right stuff, the right mix of things. And so that means maybe being a little choosier or maybe being um, aware of what it is that you want. And I feel like this is a long, long-term growth cycle for you that you may have come to the place of like, all right, I'm done with these bounce off kind of dramatic situations. I'm done choosing this like, you know, overly drama filled experience, because I think that's what love is. That's something that you might be healing or have worked on healing. I'm done with having, you know, then choosing the very opposite of that, something that can never grow because it just is so stable that it's stuck. It's not even really, um, it's not even really a thing. So there's no growth there. It's just like it's someone's fully baked or that's what they want in life. And I just feel like you, you are somewhere in the middle here where I want someone who's available to me, someone who doesn't have like ton of baggage, but also someone who's been through some things. So they have um, a little bit of situational awareness, you as well. And so I feel like you're at this precipice of this dynamic change that is going to force you to adult. And so there might be a choice you're making here that says, I'm going to go in the direction that has growth to it but that also has groundedness to it. And that may be something that you never considered before. This may be a person, Leo, okay? Leo, Libra, Sag, Gemini. Um, someone you may not have considered before. Someone you may have thought was either too boring or uh, not too dramatic, because I feel like you're drawn to that dramatic thing. Someone who has the capability. So maybe this Gemini energy, right? We're looking at someone who has multi facets, someone who has, you know, lots of different things in their lives already. They have, maybe they have kids, maybe they have a big career, maybe that, right? They have some kind of structure in their own life and you're adding some kind of joy and pizzazz and fun and flair to it, but that's not all you're adding to it. I see you as having grown a lot in the past 10 years, a lot, a lot. I don't know why I'm saying 10 years, could be eight years, something like that. But I feel like the nodes of the moon are kind of driving this reading where north node in Pisces, it's going to go from 29 degrees Pisces back to zero. So it goes in retrograde. So 29 degrees, it starts out at 29 degrees. This means that we are at the anoretic degree of Pisces. We are at the place where we have learned the most. And it's like we're going back to this joyful, fun, lightheartedness. So you're going from this Virgo and a Virgo. I forgot to pick Virgo here. Virgo energy of been there, done that, got the T-shirt. I, you know, I'm very mature. I'm unflappable. I'm, you know, I've got, I'm set in my ways going back into some kind of joy. So you could be someone who, or you could be dealing with someone like that, who is, you feel like maybe they're a little too old fashioned or they're a little too stuck in their ways. But I just did the reading for Virgo. So you might want to go look at Virgo. There's something here about, I can't just sit in my comfort zone forever. And maybe you're just the ticket. Pisces, you are the antidote to a long and boring life. There's no question about it. <laughs> All right. So let's keep going. I want to see what you don't see coming. I want to get deeper into this. Let's dive into this reading deeper and we'll see where we go from here. Link is below, Pisces. I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.